Hi, Michael Eisenberg here with EXP Realty. Today I'm going to explain the uh, residential real estate purchase and sale agreement. This is the form we use when we want to put an offer in on a piece of property that you want to buy. So we'll start out with the date and we'll just pick out a number for the MLS number. We'll say Joe Buyer is buying the property. And Jane Doe is going to be the seller. Tax parcel number, that's going to be something, county parcel number. Um, they always end in zeros in Whatcom County. And since we're, that's where we are. Uh, the address, let's say we're going to be buying a house on Broadway. In Bellingham. Legal description is going to be attached as an exhibit. We're going to ask for the stove, the range, the refrigerator, the washer, the dryer, let's say the fireplace insert. Uh, the purchase price is going to be, let's say you want to offer $250,000 for that nice house. And I'm also going to write it in, in words. Earnest money we're going to say is going to be held by a closing agent. That's going to be the escrow agent. Let's say you're going to put down $2,000 earnest money in a personal check. Uh, default would be the forfeiture of earnest money. That means the worst thing that could happen is you lose your earnest money. Let's say you, everything is going smoothly the day before the transaction is, decides is going to close. You decide you want to go to Europe and buy something there instead. So uh, the worst thing that could happen is you lose your earnest money. Title company. You can just pick one from the list or write one in. Um, let's, let's use uh, Chicago Title Company here. And you can, the next line, you can choose your closing agent. And if you want a particular person, you would put their name in here. Or I could just put in Chicago Title Company. Closing date's going to depend on your lender. It's usually going to take 30 to 45 days to close. So I'm just going to pick an approximate date of October 21st. Let's say we want possession on closing. We want the offer to expire tomorrow. That means we give them one day to decide whether they want to accept this offer or not. Services of closing agent for payment of utilities. We're going to request that with Form 22. That means the closing agent, uh, escrow agent, is going to change over the water, the sewer, things like that. Any charges and assessments due after closing will be prepaid in full by the seller at closing so you don't have any hidden fees or anything like that. Uh, agency disclosure, the selling agent, that's me, I'm going to represent you, the buyer. The listing agent is going to represent the seller. Um, addendums, these are the different addendums that go along with it. Usually financing, um, optional clauses is going to be one. If we requested utilities, we're going to say that we want the utilities to paid and the other one that's always we're going to always recommend that you do is an inspection. So we'll put that in here. Okay, then you would sign it, put your name and address in, and there you have it. There's uh, fo four more pages attached to this. They explain all of these finer points of the contract. It's boilerplate information. If you'd like some more information, give me a call. I'd love to explain it to you. My number is 360-739-6981. Check out my website at bellinghamproperty.com. Take care now.